17, we need to use the half angle formula, which I've written here on the board so for a sine. To find sine of 195 degrees, and the hint tells you that 195 degrees is 390 over 2. So what we need to do is use this formula with theta equals 390, but let's convert that to radians because that's easier and more useful. Our radians, so that's 360, in other words, 2 pi, plus an additional 30, which is pi over 6. So this is 13 pi over 6. So that's our angle, and we need to use our half angle formula to figure out what half of it is, 195 degrees. So we get that sine of, so this would be 13 pi over 12, which is what we want to find. So this is equal to, so remember that the plus or minus in front of that for the half angle formula is not telling you that the answer is both. You need to figure out what it is by which quadrant. So this angle, or 195 degrees, you can think about this, 13 over 12 is a little bit more than pi. So this is going to be in quadrant 3, therefore sine is going to be negative. And let's see what we get here. So we're going to get 1 minus, okay, so now we're going to do cosine of 13 pi over 6. But remember, since this is bigger than 360, we can just use the reference angle part. So this is the same as just having pi over 6, because 13 pi over 6, you could just subtract 2 pi from it, and it would be the same thing. So we have 1 minus cosine of pi over 6, all divided by 2. So let's see how that simplifies. So we get negative. Here we have 1 minus, remember that cosine of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2, all divided by 2. And what we could do here is we can get a common denominator and try to simplify this sum. So if we got a common denominator, we could change this 1 to be 2 over 2. So here what we're going to get is the negative square root of uh, let me make that a little bit bigger, 2 minus radical 3 all over 4. So these would combine to have a denominator of 2, but then you're dividing by another 2. So your denominator becomes 4. And finally, that is under the square root, so that could come out and leave us with negative radical 2 minus radical 3 all over 2. So a 4 under the radical is the same thing as having a 2 out of the radical. And that then gives us answer choice C to match that.